I'm having contractions. We definitely weren't ready for this. I don't really know what to expect. It's real. It's go time. This is it. We're about to have five baby girls. I'm looking at them and they're like tiny. I have a half dozen girls now. <laughs> It was like a nursery exploded in our house. Hey! <laughs> I think we're a good team. There you go. That's like that. We always know that we're going to have each other's back. <laughs> He's got to go back to work. It's impossible. You can't take care of all these five babies by yourself. Those night feedings are just exhausting. As stressful as it is and exhausting and tiring, this is our new life, you know? I'm, I'm going to get overwhelmed right now, so. We got to get used to life with six kids, and it's going to be hard. <laughs> I look huge. Did you see those pictures that Crystal took of me? You don't want to see them. She posted them to Facebook. No, no. she probably will though. Look how look how big my sister looks. <laughs> she sent that around to people. <laughs> no, I'm saying she probably would. I'm Danielle, and I'm Adam Buzz Busby. Adam and I met working at Target. I was 19 years old, and I was 20. Yeah, yeah. I like the older men. I used to see her almost every day. I just walk up to her and say, hello, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. She was hooked. <laughs> As you can tell, I got her. <laughs> I was like looking at my back and I was like, it was just like cushion back there. <laughs> my back got fat even. <laughs> when we were dating, we were just completely different people than we are today. Adam was this guy who was like, I'm too cool with my seashell chain on. Everybody makes fun of my puka shells. <laughs> she was a tomboy I that know, liked to play what? video games. I mean, she was like, I mean, my best friend. We dated for three years and then we got married. We traveled, we partied. We went to Australia, South Africa, London, Paris, Singapore, Tokyo. I mean. So we had we had a lot of cool adventures. Talk to him. Hi, sissies. We always knew we wanted to have kids, but, you know, getting pregnant for us was, was hard. We tried for two years to have Blake. It was heartbreaking, because it's something I wanted so bad, you know? <laughs> when we couldn't get pregnant on our own, we looked into infertility specialists and um, decided to try IUIs, which is interuterine insemination. So they're taking a tube of sperm and injecting it into your uterus. And it took years, and finally, we had Blake. Your sister's gonna kill you. Wonder what sister that is. Who do you think it is? I think it's the Hazel. Why? I love Hazel. You love Hazel? You love Hazel. <gasps> Having Blake was amazing, uh, but it, it didn't slow us down at all. <laughs> We continued to travel, see our friends. Where we went, she went. Blake is our little princess, but we wanted her to have a brother or sister. Mm. Oh. So we went through the same road that we went down to, to get pregnant with her. And after only two months of IUIs, we got pregnant. Yeah, oh my God, it, it worked. Yeah. Like, we're pregnant, we're pregnant. But there was a but. <laughs> and the doctor said, Whoop, <laughs> and my heart dropped. I like immediately looked at you like, do you see what I see? Both of us immediately saw it. <laughs> I dropped my coffee. Yeah. Now we're just having five girls. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna kick you. Can you hear him in there? Hello. Anybody in there? 
<laughs> I'm having contractions. I've had about five in about 10 minutes and seven in 12 minutes. I think another like four or something. So um, might have babies today, which is so shocking. Daniel starting to contract more intensively and uh, I suspect that she's going into preterm delivery. That's the reason that I've decided to deliver her at this point. It's looking like our timetable has jumped way up. The babies are just getting to where they're so cramped that they're just like all on top of each other. And so it's just becoming really hard for Dr. Ryder to be able to see the amount of fluid it's in the sacs and sizes on all the babies. And so um, I just left work. I ran, ran home and grabbed my bag and I'm headed to the hospital. Hey girls. Gonna get to see you. I have twin sisters named Ashley and Crystal and they are my best friends. Yeah, just are y'all ready? Yeah. Don't make me nervous. Danielle and Crystal and I have always been real close, and I cannot believe that she's having five babies. You ready? <sighs> it's real. So one of the NICU nurses came in this past week, and she was talking about, I can take this ring right here. And, uh, and slip this over my baby's hand like a, like a little bracelet. And whenever I heard that, like my heart dropped. Like, are you kidding me? I, my baby's hand is gonna fit through this. Yeah, I just, knowing that they're, they're gonna be that small and that fragile. This is scary. There's many risks for, for complications, and I mean, I just, I, I can't imagine life without Danielle or these babies. And we do have five blankets. Every baby is going to have a team ready to take care of them. That will include a nurse practitioner, a physician, a neonatologist, someone who takes care of, obviously, small prematures, uh, as well as a nurse and respiratory therapist. And we're gonna be lined up and ready to take babies one at a time as Dr. Ryder delivers them. There is an enormous risk when you deliver multiples, especially of this high order of multiples. But I can reassure you that they are in very good hands in this hospital. So hopefully all of them will survive. So Danielle, we'll bring Adam in in a few moments and we're ready to start. Now the fun really begins. Yeah. <laughs> when we have faith that everything's going to be all right, but I mean, there's just too many, too many things that go wrong. Are you ready? Yes, we are. We got gas. Are you here? Please let Danielle be okay. It's unbelievable that the time is here. I'm just ready to see someone's face or hear someone's voice and say, everything's fine, this is what's going on. It's just nerve-wracking. Delivering five babies, you'd expect them to be anything between one pound, one and a half pound, and two pounds at the most and most of their organs are not going to be fully developed. So there is an enormous risk when you deliver multiples. All I can think about is I'm about to have five baby girls. Thank you. 
So many emotions. I mean, just seeing all of them so small for for the first time, actually in person. <laughs> it was just the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. I love you. A, B, and C were out. A minute later, D was out, and then the next minute, B e was out. So within three minutes, it was five babies. Wanna meet Riley? Hey, we're coming to see Riley. Is that my wild one? We've got your wild one, yes. This is definitely your wild one. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Here you go, Mom. Your little toesies. That's oh, very lovely. You pulled them all exactly what their size are supposed to be for 28 weeks. That's remarkable. They rolled Riley out to see me. She just was like this little red thing, just bones. And I mean, you could tell, like they just weren't finished like growing. I just, you know, I put my finger and touched her and they're just like sticky. Um, Cause their skin is just really, really, really thin. It's angling. She's so beautiful, Mom and Dad. It was a very different experience having Blake than having these quints because it was, I mean, it was hard not to just like be able to like hold your baby and touch your baby. It's just gotta look at him through a box. Our little peewees. Our little peewees. I thought, well, when I saw it, I picked him like, look how big the diaper is. It's so small. It's so small. Yeah, I was hoping they'd all be able to see down. The amount of people that were just caring for the babies and just to see them for the first time with all the tubes and everything. It was just it was too much. I mean, this long, hard road that we we're about to head down now. It's real. I mean, I, I'm looking at them, and they're tiny. And to hear a baby that small cry, it was just, I mean, that was the sweetest sound ever. I have a half dozen girls now. <laughs> it's so weird, half dozen. Riley Page looks just like Danielle when Danielle was a baby. I mean, exactly like her. Olivia. It's just so amazing to see how perfect everything there, all the fingers, all the toes, it's just little bitty people. Look at her. Your sister. Is she pretty? Is she cute? What's in her valley? Those are all those little sensors that they get her heartbeat. Remember? Mommy read you that little story. Premature babies to be ready for discharge have to be ready to act like term babies. These babies, they're 28 weeks when they were born. That means at least about two months that they're going to be in the hospital. Park a cake. Mama's got your hand. To go home, they need to be taking enough milk from breast or bottle to gain weight and grow. They need to be physically big enough to be in an open crib and maintain their temperature. And lastly, any residual breathing problems, we need to resolve all of those issues before they're ready to go home. Parker. All five babies were born with heart murmurs, which is like a little hole in the heart. They were all very strong and very good place for being born at 28 weeks and two days. But they had a lot of growing to do. 
NICU life is difficult, even on the good days, even when there's nothing that's gone wrong, but it's still hard because you cannot have your baby. We can only visit. We can only visit our children. During the NICU stay, every single day, Danielle and I went back and forth and traded places. It was very rare unless it was the weekends where we were all going together. But we also tried to keep life as normal for Blake. Parker. What's Parker doing, Blake? He's holding my finger. <laughs> On top of visiting the NICU and getting adjusted to a new life and schedule, we still had to get our house ready to bring five babies home, luckily. With Adam's time off and family helping. We got it done. Got it done. Wall to wall diapers. I'm just like, y'all can't even pour cue cores in here anymore. I ain't get some more shelves in here. Why? It's just one more thing that we got to figure out. OK, well, how do we do this now with six kids? We were so excited to finally bring that first baby home. And it wasn't just a big deal to us. It was it was a huge deal to the world. The overwhelming response from news media and and people just wanting to get a photo. It's crazy. Can you tell them Park? Oh yeah. <laughs> Parker Kate came home first. Yeah. It was nice, like finally one of the babies came home. Then a couple days later, Hazel comes home and I'm like, this is what it's like to have twins. There's nothing, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Olivia and Riley at the same time. And so we went from two to four. That was a big deal, but it was manageable. It was an even number of babies. I could handle two, she could handle two. Then Ava came home, number five. For some reason, that fifth baby is chaos. just chaos. <laughs> Not a pretty face, Riley Page. No, it's not. I agree. It was like a nursery exploded in our house. We had to get everything times five. Car seats, bottles, mama roos. Mama roos. I mean, it's ridiculous. Hey, big guys. Hey, Olivia. The babies are stationed in the living room because if they were in their room, they can't all fit in there with their rocking plays. And they're in rocking plays because they have to stay elevated because they have reflux. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Olivia. Olivia is very expressive with her eyes. Yeah. I'm a little Billy goat. Ava is very content with just Looking around. Come here, little peanut. So Riley, she she loves, she to, loves cuddle. to cuddle. Hazel's our little one. She's got that fiery red personality. And then Miss Parker Kate is super easy going. Super easy. <laughs> it's just funny because I feel like Parker's the biggest, but she doesn't eat like the others eat. I don't see how she's the biggest because she's the laziest eater. So we got 24 hours in a day. And <laughs> We're feeding babies every three hours. One tub of formula that costs about $25 would last Blake like a probably week, five days. Five days with Blake and with the quintuplets, it literally lasts one day. Hey, you gotta eat more than that. I mean, we're at now, it's like $2,000 a month just for formula. You might get yourself working. Hmm. I work with Danielle's brother-in-laws in industrial communications in the oil field and sales. I took vacation days to, to be able to help her with the quince and, and spend time with the quince, but I mean, I just couldn't take off that much time. Parker was knocking on your door. Let's, let's go eat breakfast and go eat a pancake. Yeah? Okay, come on, come help. Before we had the quince, I mean, we had just Blake, and Blake was our everything. What? Where are we gonna go after when I eat my food? <gasps> Nowhere. It's hard a little bit, especially with, you know, the babies are so needy. Who's the best? Daddy's or Papa's pancakes? Yeah. I mean, that was my biggest fear when I found out that we were having five more girls. Now these half dozen girls are going to feel the same amount of love. 
equally? And I, am I gonna be a good enough dad? They're ready for their vaccination. You guys are gonna be so upset with us. That was hard. Alright girls, who's ready to turn four months old and get shot? Today is our four month checkup with the pediatrician. Ash is here to go with us because we are taking all five babies for the first time to a doctor's appointment. Yes, ma'am. So are we ready to scream and holler? They're prepared. Going to the doctor is a whole day of preparation. What are you gonna pack? How much are you gonna pack? There's so many things that have to be put in place before we can just get in the car and go. We start getting bottles ready, change diapers. Y'all excited to get out? Not gonna be excited for where we're going. 15 shots. Three shots per baby. Hey, you patting yourself? It's not gonna be fun. All right, um, stop a minute. What? They need a little bit of Tylenol. Okay. Hmm? Okay, okay, okay. What? What'd you do? I'm gonna give her that medicine while she's in the car seat. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, just a second. She okay? What? Don't worry, she's freaking not breathing, Adam. Okay, just relax. Just be still a minute. You mean she's not breathing? I tried to give her that medicine and she's just wasn't losing her pattern. You okay? There you go. Yes. All right, I'm not doing that anymore. It's really scary whenever you're trying to give like a small baby a preemie just some medicine and then it turns into like this scary, like life or death kind of situation. That was a fail. What? That was a fail. I've given Blake Tylenol before going to get her shots and so I thought I'll just do this with the quince, give it about 30 minutes before, it'll help them with a little bit of the pain and then you're choking on it. With one baby, it's scary, but with five babies, I mean, there's just so many more things that could go wrong. Girlies, we're here. Y'all ready? I know, Mom. I don't want to do it. Got to see how much our weighs. Who's going to be the biggest? And who's going to like the shots the most? Gosh, can you wait till Riley starts screaming? We're gonna do the fun stuff. We're gonna get some measurements. Okay. And weights. Okay. Line them up. <laughs> it's an assembly line. It's like bath night at home. Like you start with one, you undress, she does the length, head measurements, and then she'll take her to weigh them while you start undressing the next one. And then you switch. All right, Dad, who do you have? I have Ava. You're not happy, huh? This is the easy part. Okay. Hello, hello. I'm Dr. Kimball. Hi, I'm Danielle's sister. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So the party's here. <laughs> OK. Yeah. It is chaos when the Busby's come because of the fact that there's so many of them. The Busby quintuplets are my only set. They are very rare here. Pretty girl. Good job. And we're gaining weight. We've doubled birth weights. We're, we're doing good as far as our weight's concerned. So I think you're OK. And Hazel was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I mean, I'm yeah, gonna go, go get, I'm gonna go go get, get Blake. Um, Blake. I didn't realize what time it was. Okay. Uh, thanks. Okay. They're ready for their vaccination. All right, Mom, don't sure. cry. <laughs> so how many are we doing at once? Two. Two. OK, Ladybug. You guys are going to be so upset with us. So sorry. All right, Daddy, are you ready? Here we go, baby. Come on, baby. All done. Oh, God, you did it. Thanks. <laughs> Baby girl. And then we did the next two. Over and over again. You almost felt like it was the same baby. You just kept poking and poking and poking. I'm so sorry. Ugh. 
That was hard. Oh, baby. <laughs> they did great. <laughs> really good. Oh, As tears like go down my face. Oh, <laughs> you did it. Yay. It's over. With Blake, it was just like one, and you're like, you can't get emotional about it. As fast. <laughs> it just like keeps going. <laughs> Takes a lot out of you. Quince, as much joy as it has brought to our lives, it's still, I mean, it's you have five times the worry. Just it's a lot up. to handle, it's, yeah, it's gonna be difficult, just... but this is our lives and we're gonna get used to it. Thank All you. Right. Hopefully we have a good weekend. Let's go take your nap. Don't you start pooping in there. Oh, she's pooping on my What? That's her. Blake, did you give me five or six diapers? Five. Five? I must not have changed Parker. <laughs> oh, Michelle just pulled up. Oh, I was about to call her. Mm -hmm. Who's here? Hey! hey. Duty! Where's Blake? Blake Louise! So Michelle, What's Mimi, Danielle's mom. She did come over when the babies were home. She was there, she helped. Yeah, she helped a little. Where are the girls? Oh my gosh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Look, Olivia's kinda, no that's, this is Porker. <gasps> but look how she looks like Olivia from the side. Yeah, I was wondering what time you were coming because I want to give them all baths tonight. Are these diapers on the floor for like a purpose? Or we all like throwing diapers in Yeah, each that's other. what we always do. That's y'all's entertainment. Because there's so many diapers to throw, we change a minimum of 40 diapers a day. As if it's just pee and with every feed. Ooh, I smell some, an onion. Hmm? Man, God. Oh, oh it's, <laughs> it's that. Oh, that is, what is what in is there? What is that? What's in there? It's a bag of onions. Did you bring onions? Did you really bring onions? You never know what you're gonna get with her. In one sentence, she could cover five different bases and not a single one of them makes sense. And she thinks you know what she's talking about. <laughs> I saw the lady on TV that that's all she eats and drinks is her own urine. Did you see her? Have you seen it? That's not all she eats. And she's she would pure die. yellow. What some people call me, what, zany? And then somebody said, well, you do act just like Lucille Ball. I was like, how perfect is that? So we're gonna bathe them where? In the kitchen sink? Yep. It's best with three people. So you have one person that mans the sink, mans the babies. Tonight you're gonna be the baby runner. So you're gonna dress and stuff, Adam? Yeah. Ooh, you stink. Bath time is, it, I mean, it's an assembly line. All right, give me a baby. Come on, duty. I know. Okay, let's go take your bath. Wash clean, hand over the baby, wrap them up, dry them off, put the lotion on them, and then by that time, another baby's coming. <laughs> oh, she's spooking on me. What? That's her. Hazel Grace. Sure. Don't you start pooping in there. You ready for a bath? Adam, you got another one? I took Parker's off. Wait, yeah, this is Parker, isn't it? All right, next. Mom, what are you doing? I was just talking to her. We got five kids that need a bath. We don't have a single baby. We have five. Say, I was talking. Oh, she's pooting. You couldn't ask for better parents than Adam and Danielle. Oh, goodness. That had to have hurt, girlfriend. <laughs> They're so calm with this. They're so at peace with everything. And of course they wanted a large family, but I know they didn't plan for five at the same time. It's not easy. Oh, she's peeing on me. Babe, why don't you put a diaper on her? I forgot they were You have a whole stack of diapers right here. She just peed on me. Okay. You need to eat, little pumpkin. You need to eat. Trying to plan to like have them eat earlier and get to bed by 10 didn't work out. <laughs> when it comes that last feed of the night, I'm like, yay, it's bedtime. 
<laughs> it's not really bedtime, it's just nap time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere. You were out cold. The best part of the whole day is just whenever you do put them in their little beds and they are so soft and cute and cuddly. And you kiss every one of them goodnight and sometimes they smile at you <laughs> or their little dimple might come out and they and you kiss their cheek and it's all worth it. Every bit of the heart is just worth one baby smile. <laughs> it really is. Better take my pills, Adam. You know why? Huh? I mean, I forget everything else. I <laughs> know, uh, that's what I'm worried about. You forget everything else. Or are you taking those pills? Yes. Dee Dee, it's two o'clock. No hanky-panky, we got five babies out here. So every night I get my kids to bed. I try to get like an hour and a half, two hours sleep. Um, and then I get, I set my alarm and get up and head to Danielle's like about 1.45 for the 2 a.m. feed. You mean it's just to go right into feeding her since Parker's not crying or? Huh? It's very important for our sanity, I think, to have a schedule because, like, you're feeding five babies, that's gonna take an hour, and if you start feeding one way off the schedule, it messes up the three hours that you have to the next feeding, and it cuts the time in between shorter because then you're always feeding the baby. And then you're really never having a break. She's just hungry. You go all day long, and then you go all night long. You have no time to sleep. It was nice to actually get to sleep, but it wasn't nearly enough. I've been up for 20 hours straight, and I'm tired. Those night feedings are just exhausting. <sighs> Something's got to give, or somebody's going to lose it. Yeah, we're out of formula. Hey, I'll go to the store, babe. Buzz, I'm going to the store. I'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> two out of three. OK. You going to smile. How you going to smile for mommy? Yesterday was exhausting, especially for mom. But someone needs a nap, and I guess it's going to be her of all people. But you know, luckily the babies are recovering from their shots pretty well. Danielle, we're out of formula. Great. The babies are feeding every three hours, eight feedings throughout the day and night, five babies. Adam, all we have is Hazel's formula. The yeah, all we got set? left is the expensive stuff. It's not gonna work. We go through that stuff so dang fast. Come on, Mimi. I know, it's hot out there. But I need to get, that's something else I can get at the store. I need to get some like cereal stuff so I can thicken it. I'll go to the store. No, I'll go to the store. You're going to the store, so let me see if you have enough laundry detergent. Oh, you do, okay. Hey, I'll go to the store, babe. Buzz, I'm going to the store. I want to go to the store because I want to get out of the house. He wants to go to the store so he doesn't have to be home with Mimi. <laughs> All right, paper, uh -oh. scissors, you for it. All right. Step into the Thunderdome. So rock, paper, scissors is now the typical way that we solve an issue. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, oh, two out of three. <laughs> two out of three. OK. Oh, man. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I need it to get out of the house. What a fun journey for Mama. I'll be back. Say, have fun, Mama. Have fun shopping. Your favorite thing to do now. Bye. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I know how you feel, Riley.
having all these babies for sure, it changes the way that I look at shopping. I already was very mindful of spending money on groceries for sure. That's another reason why I need to do the grocery shopping now. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. So how are things back in Lake Charles? I mean, what you mean? You're not dating anybody right now? Hell and hell no. And that would be no, no, no. I'm good at all the, the social stuff and, and websites. Uh, I, I would help weed out the bad ones. If they actually saw what you look like, a hot grandma like oh, you. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's enough about my sex life, or huh? my, my non-sex life, my no sex life. <laughs> oh, shoot. Darn it. Blake. Hey, Blake. Hello? Hey. Yeah? Uh, are you about finished? Why, babies are crying? Yeah, like crazy. They just, they just love their mommy. Well, um, Adam keeps, I mean, it's like you need to get back home. Well, I mean, he's talking about, you know, those websites about putting me on it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be home soon. Like, how soon? I'll be back. All right, hurry up. You getting hungry? There's no way you're hungry. Uh, Hazel, you're like a runny faucet. She is. Mama's home. What are you doing? Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Well, you were going to walk. <laughs> Not that long. You, you probably looked at everything at H-E-B. OK, well, oh, I, need to, I need to chill. I need to um, regroup All right. mentally, if that's possible. I have never been so exhausted in my life. I worry so much about, because Danielle, I mean, Adam has to go back to work, and it's going to get worse. I mean, because Danielle will have to do this. I mean, if she she wears herself out, she go, she'll get sick, and if she gets sick, God help us all. I'm just, I'm just kind of worried that, you know, it's gonna take a toll on you eventually. No sleep. It's got to be getting to her. I know. Okay. It's hard not to get emotional, and I need to sleep. I'm too old for this. I gotta go get some sleep. Oh goodness gracious, golly! I ain't even fed you yet. Hey, so Grace, you been holding that in? So they're just giving you extra time at work off? They're not giving him time. He's taking. I have vacation weeks, days. Weeks of vacation. What else am I gonna do? It's not like I'm going on a vacation. So <laughs> this is my vacation. Avalyn, you're my vacation. Danielle can't do this all on her own. No one can do this on their own because it is a round the clock. It's a 24-hour, non-stop job. If nobody's here, it's, it's impossible. You can't take care of all these five babies by yourself. Yes, I can. Well, I mean, it's not just feeding babies, it's everything else. Um, I'm not going back to work yet. I mean, I'm gonna, there's gonna be times that I'm gonna do this by myself, and it's, I mean, it's just, it's gonna happen, I mean. She needs help, I know she does, just to help feed. I mean, see her laying down there, and she's got three babies propped up, and one here and one there. You know, it's just too much. <laughs> there it was, Barker. totally look like somebody beat the crap out of me. What? What? I look like like I was beaten up. 
I go in the mirror, it's like my hair's like this. I'm like, why didn't anybody tell me? Why? I can't do this anymore. This will be my third night. You know, you just, you just can't keep on with no sleep. I mean, it just wears you down. I mean, you do, you just lose it. Oh my goodness. I need a break. No, I, I know. <laughs> okay. When my mom starts to get upset, I get upset. She's just emotional about everything. The, the no sleep's gotta be getting to her. I, I think you need to get out of here. Just go take the girls or just go. Go for a walk or something. I'm, I'm gonna get overwhelmed right now, so. It's hard not to get emotional, and I need to sleep. I can't do like I did in the past and go 19, 20 hours straight without sleep. I'm too old for that. As stressful as it is and exhausting and tiring, this is our new life, you know? But we gotta get used to life with six kids and it's gonna be hard. <laughs>